Hey guys, average homeowner here. I'm gonna do a project today on my golf cart. Um, really what I wanna do is make a little glove box for all my goodies. So I have the makings of it right here. There's a nice little glove box. I just need a door on it. And uh, this is what I'm gonna do. So here again is the existing opening. I'm gonna put a nice piece of black walnut here and I'm gonna cut part of it here, make a door here. This will all get cleaned up and look really good in the end. So the first thing I did was sand this board smooth. As you could tell from the first pictures, it's really nice now. I went with the orbital sander with an 80 grit and a 120 grit then a 220 grit and uh, I'm gonna cut it to size now. I took this unit out of the golf cart just to make it easier, but you can see here the two pieces, this piece will be solid here. I'll drill a couple holes and then this piece will be hinged. I um, cut them out, did a lot of sanding, rounded off the edges, all with just sandpaper. And uh, we'll get it together. I'm gonna show you where I'm at here. I got the holes drilled for the ignition, the light switch, this is the glove box. Now, I was trying to get this on here with the hinges and Man, I couldn't figure it out. It's kind of funky uh, the way it turns and stuff. So after much deliberating, I figured out how I could do it. And you see these slots right here. With the hinge right there, okay, that door will open and shut no problem now. Okay, now. How did I cut those slots? Well, that turned out to be a lot easier than I thought. I just took this saw, which is my favorite variable speed jig kind of saw, and I just zipped them in there. It was super easy, super clean, and we're on our way. All right, here's a little modification. Here's the hinge. Because of how the hinge is, it can't bend up, so I just put another little uh, nut on that side to keep it in line. I'm gonna have to cut these down here. And also on the inside, you can see I had these stainless steel screws. They are too big, it won't close all the way, but I will just uh, cut them off with this little tool right here. Okay, test fit, cut. Opens and shuts, nice. Now I gotta get the locking mechanism Lock. in there. Absolutely no instructions, but uh, we'll figure it out. So it's working now. I have to admit, I had to do a little MacGyvering. I had to cut this, grind this down a bit. I had to grind some off of that for this to shut. And that's only because this glove box goes down, which created a little issue, but hey, so far so good. Here's a quick little tip. I screwed all these. I'm using stainless cause it's gonna be outside or well, it's a golf cart, but I'm gonna paint them black so it looks all matchy. So I just screw them in the cardboard and spray paint away. Two minutes later, black screws. I threw a couple of coats of uh, just a clear polyurethane. I did not put any stain on this black walnut cause I think it looks good right in the natural state. Uh, I did that two days ago and now it's dry enough to install. Here's how it looks all installed. Just to prove that it works. I have to say this project took a little more MacGyvering uh, than I thought it would, but in the end, it turned out beautiful. I'm very happy. This is the average homeowner, until the next time.